Well, getting rid of bed bugs is not an easy process, but it is big business. NBC5's Charlie Vajahusky has that story. It's been unbelievable. Yeah, it's just going crazy. <laughs> like bed bugs are everywhere. The bed bug business is booming for Bruce Clausen's heat assault company. It makes equipment designed to heat entire buildings to kill the bugs living inside. We've done uh, 17 story buildings a floor a day and knocking the bed bugs down to zero. You may not hear as much about bed bug infestations as you did a year ago, but at the Bed Bug University North American Summit, the business of beating them is growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, last year we had about 45 exhibitors, and this year we're over 75. Uh, so it's a huge leap. Uh, our, our attendance is double from last year. Some have invented boxes to kill the bugs in your luggage with heat. Others have invented trailers to do the same thing with your furniture. We put, load your furniture in, and we run a heat cycle on it to kill bed bugs with heat, no chemicals. Others do the dirty work of finding and killing the bugs in homes and commercial buildings. The problem in Chicago is pretty severe. Um, on a canine inspection basis, which is a preventative maintenance program for bed bugs, we do every quarter 4,000 units. We uh, have the dogs locate the scent, and this is a passive alert. Shelly Bino moved to detective bed bug after her career in property management. With the property management uh, industry, we were seeing rise in bed bug cases within facilities, so therefore this was a niche that I wanted to get into. Now a North Shore congressman is introducing legislation that could bring federal money to the fight against bed bugs and those who are waging it. We talk about jobs in the economy. A number of the entrepreneurs next door are going to be instrumental, I believe, in trying to get us out of the mess that we're in right now. And joining me now is entomologist Allie Tazy with the Bed Bug Central and Cooper Pest Solutions. So why is there such an increase in bed bugs right now? There are a number of reasons. Increased travel has been blamed, changes in pest control practices, but one of the things that we're trying to tackle this with is the fact that people are aware of the problem, but they don't know the facts. That, that is true. So how do you avoid getting them in the first place? The most important thing to do is educate yourself. You want to know the behavior of this pest and the signs to look for, because that's the first step in prevention. Okay, what's the, what, what signs to look for? So we're looking for the bugs themselves. You want to know what they look like and the little spots that they leave behind on the corners of mattresses, box springs, behind headboards, anywhere around where people sleep. And we do have great resources available at bedbugcentral.com. Mm -hmm. um, there's Bedbugs 101. You can see pictures and there's also a number of great university-based fact sheets available. Okay, and, they're, and, and they are, you, you always hear about them with traveling, but the people, are they having them in their own personal homes as well? Absolutely. And the National Pest Management Association actually just did a survey and it found that 37% of people thought that bed bugs were associated with dirty homes, but that is not the case. They don't discriminate on cleanliness. Everyone's at risk for getting them at home when they travel. They're even being found in schools now. Oh, wow. So what do you do to avoid I mean, You have products here that where you could, I mean, I, but it's, it's hard to even know, I'm itching thinking about this, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, um, it's hard to even know when you're at risk, because if you don't, what if you, if you don't see them and you don't see them where you're going, doesn't necessarily mean you may not be at risk of getting them, right? They are really good at hiding. You can see bed bugs, but they're very flat and good at hiding, so you want to know where to look. And there are a number of products that can help protect while mm -hmm. you inspect. So we've got some travel products so you can take precautions while you're in your hotel room. Some things for bedding so that you can see the signs Is before they actually cover, infest. Basically? Exactly, mattress and also your encasement makes the bed bugs easy to spot. Mm -hmm. And then some things that will detect them early on and confirm your suspicions. It'll catch them when they're trying to get to the bed. And what about should you look for bites on yourself? Is that something that or once you get to that point, you're pretty much you got problems? No, some the react people's reaction varies widely. Some people react, some people don't. So so bites might indicate that you might have a bed bug infestation and if that happens call a pest management professional mm -hmm. because they're the ones who know how to look for this really tricky pest. Now I know that there's a lot of you know th this has been a growing industry really um, but are there scam artists out there that people should watch for because anytime there's a fear or there's a concern I mean is there is there um, any sort of issue with that? There are a lot of people who are working trying to solve this problem and putting good products in the hands of the consumers because you don't want to use pesticides you want to hire professionals for pesticides and focus on other products now in order to evaluate whether it's a gimmick or not it's important to educate 
educate yourself on the behavior of this bug and say, you know, would this work on a bed bug? Does this make sense? And again, bedbugcentral.com has great resources. We've also got Bedbug TV, where another entomologist reviews some of the products as they come out. All right. Thank you so much, Allie. It's very <laughs> itchy. But thank, thank you, because people say it's a big deal, and <laughs> I'm like the one that's going, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in.